Hi friends, today we are going to talk about uh, one change that has happened in SAP ECC as well as S4HANA, but generally if you are coming from an ECC background, you need to know the new uh, concepts of ABAP coding. Okay, so here is one example. The requirement is suppose if the person who is executing uh, the, the transaction code, if he has created a purchase order, then it it should find all the all the material documents that are created for for purchase orders that have a material like an inventory item so for that first we we what we do is this is the old way of writing okay first we try to find okay i have whether i have an entry uh, whether I, that person has created one purchase order so i go to ekko and try to do this then i check this is not initial and then i do all these things i go to ekpo and all those things and then what i see is i'll uh, just what i'm going to do is i'll just put some debug pointer okay so in that case you can understand the difference okay so i'll execute i'll put this v3 and i'll execute so here you can see the first time it has one select okay so i search it i get this it has some entries i have created some po's okay then it will go here there's another select and here you can see there's some entries and then there's another select and then you can see all these and then i will just the output portion will be the same so the output is this so there is three select this is the before clause and that's the way you you will be coding and that's not wrong well, i'm just saying that may not be optimal okay uh, you have a number five you can come go to number five three plus two four plus one but sometimes three plus two is not so much optimal okay so now the new version new version you will be writing like this very simple you see first of all i got rid of some of the data declaration that you can do so here you can see there's inline declaration i checking from ekp and there's only one select clause so instead of doing three select I did only one. How? Oh, so I used a dynamic where I used a where select. I used a subquery in the select clause. Okay. And then instead of doing if I tab all these things here, I did exist. This is the main thing. Okay. Once you do that, see, and I'll execute the same. And I'm pretty sure this performance will have better performance than this. Okay. Than the previous one. So. This is the way to write code. So in this way, you don't write a very uh, long code, but you can write a smaller code. You know, everyone needs to be smart. Smart means laziness. And in this case, you can write it this way, okay? And then you can see, you can get rid of all the data declaration you can think of. And I think here you probably is like, how many lines of code? It's like 42 to 59. It's like um, uh, 17 lines of code here it's how many it's probably how much 63 to 73 it's 10 line 10 line code i'm not even counting the data declaration so this is really really handy okay so so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and if you like it share it and subscribe to this channel because new videos are coming uh, on the way related with sap as well as s4 thank you and have a great